one of the things I want to focus on here is um, what you can expect on this path that you're on, that you're on. A lot of people feel that the the tough part is taking the first step. It's not. It is a hard step, but the step after that is hard. The step after that is harder. The third is even harder. So it continues to increase in difficulty. So taking the first step, yes, is a big issue, but that's the beginning of the path and it's a rough path. So I'll be sharing with you um, what it is to mean to be an entrepreneur. And the reason I do this is I speak at a lot of events and I moderate some events. And in every event, the founders talk about how everything's easy, how when they started something, uh, it grew, how they, the, you know, the first investor they spoke with, they raised the money. So it looks very easy while it's not. So for example, any entrepreneur that you, you hear, they, they ask them, what regrets do you have? They say none. That's not true. You know, we all have regrets, even without, even on a simpler path of entrepreneurship. Um, it, it has to do a lot with the feel of failure and struggling as misunderstood as a sign of weakness. So I've had this discussion myself as a business owner with other business owners, where, you know, I start to talk to them about business problems and how I'm overcoming them and so on. And then they're like, oh, so Ayman's business is, is not good. I was like, no, no, wait, you know, business is good. But as another business owner, I'd assume you'd be open to talking more about business problems. And even that case, it's not because when you talk about struggles of a business, it's uh, it's misunderstood as a weakness 